Looks like we have a new agentic deep research agent that is the best in the game. Even beats Google's new deep research agent that we had taken a look at this past week, which was capable of generating 25 page in depth reports. And now we have another company focusing on the best deep research agent that can even outperform Perplexity's deep research, GPT 4.5 deep research, you have OpenAI 01, and many other deep research agents. Allow me to introduce Liner. Liner Deep Research simplifies in-depth research by providing accurate AI-powered reports. It currently ranks number one in OpenAI's simple QA benchmark. It's designed for students, researchers, professionals, and practically anyone who is looking to get a more in-depth analysis on your prompts. It generates 360-degree reports from simple queries, but the best part is it's fully free where users can access it up to 10 free reports daily, which is more than what we saw with Google, which provides only five different generations with its deep research agent. Liner is also making it reliable in terms of the research that it provides with more efficient and accessible sources. Liner Deep Research goes beyond accuracy by excelling in source aggregation, pulling from 50 plus trusted academic sources like Archive, PubMed, Nature, and so many others. Users can see and evaluate sources based on the citation volume, which will also ensure credibility and unlike other tools that we've saw on this channel. Liner doesn't just rely on external datasets, it uses an advanced ranker model and fine-tuned large language models to enhance reference quality and user intent understanding, which is going to make the research process more reliable and precise. Before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's sponsor, Kittle. Kittle is a powerful yet easy to use design platform that helps creators like you bring ideas to life without the steep learning curve of traditional design softwares. Whether you're in print on demand, apparel, publishing, or branding, Kittle gives you all the tools to create stunning, market ready designs in just minutes. Need a quick design boost? Well, Kittle's AI feature handles background removal, image upscaling, and even generates unique visuals for you. With realistic photo mockups, you can see exactly how your designs will look on shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more before you even print. And the best part is, you can export your designs in the perfect format for your store completely worry-free with Kittle's clear commercial use license. So if you're looking for a design tool that's simple, powerful, and built for selling, try Kittle today. And to make it even better, use the code in the description below to receive 25% off your first month off of the pro plan. But with that thought guys, let's get right back into the video. Now just take a look at this image which is showcasing a side-by-side -side comparison that highlights the superior accuracy and in-depth analysis of Liner versus many of these other tools like ChatGPT 4.5, 01, and Perplexity's Deep Research. You can see that this is something that has more sources, the number of tokens used, uh, the time spent which is drastically lower than many of these other tools. Uh, you also see that its accessibility is a lot cheaper, more uh, shareable formats like PDFs. And you can see it has so many other things like scholar mode, tables and graphs, the factuality benchmark. And in essence, you just get a better refined output from this deep research agent. And you can easily get started by heading over to the website link that I'll leave in the description below. I think you need to create an account, so go ahead and do that. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And now you can essentially work on generating anything by enabling the deep research button and you can essentially have it generate various sorts of reports for you. This is where I'm requesting it to provide me an in-depth analysis on AGI and we're gonna go ahead and send in this prompt. Now you're gonna be able to see the generation live in action similar to Gemini's deep research. So you can see it's gonna break it down into multiple steps. This is because there's multiple agents working alongside each other to analyze different sources, which you can see over here. For this particular topic, it is looking through multiple sources and it's gonna do the exact same thing for various sorts of topics. And then afterwards, it's gonna create a structured output for it. 
Now, right now you see all the different outputs being shown on the right hand panel in terms of all the sources. And then afterwards, it's going to then work on compiling and generating a report for you. So it looks like it has generated the contents of it. And you can actually see that if you are to highlight a certain section, it is going to showcase the source that it used to generate that particular area. And now it is working on formulating all the different topics for me. Now it looks like it is still generating all the contents for me. And right now it's on the conclusion, but you can see it focused on multiple different types of topics on AGI. And you can see it is gonna guide you through everything in terms of having it so that you can click on a certain line that has been generated and it'll showcase the source that it used to generate that. And now you can also ask it follow-up questions, which is really nice. So if you want it to focus on another iteration, you can simply go ahead and talk about what are the main challenges currently faced on in AI AGI development. And then the deep research will then focus on this next segment for you. So this is a great way for you to get more in-depth analysis on something that you're researching on. And like this, it will also even provide related images, which is also pretty nice. And what I really like about the sources over here is that say if you want to get more insights on the source that I use, you can click on it. Obviously, it will take you to that place, but you can get a summary of it by clicking on this and it'll provide you a summary of the source that it used so that you get insights on the references that were used to generate your report. Now, one thing I'm testing out is that I'm requesting it to generate a report with only scholarly articles or references. This is because I don't want it to use different sources from LinkedIn, Reddit, or any of the other uh, forums like Quora, because I want to have more authentic as well as more research driven sources that could formulate my responses. And you can actually do this by uh, either specifying to the agent to only use scholarly articles, or you can enable it on the right hand panel where you can say only scholarly papers are allowed and you can simply just toggle this and then it'll work on generating it with these in-depth uh, research sources like archive or any of the different uh, forums that provide scholarly articles. And after reading and comparing the generation with this feature enabled, I was able to see that it's obviously more credible, but you can see that the contents that was generated with these sources make it a lot better in terms of being more readable, more uh, understandable, and it's something that is provided and backed by legitimate sources, which is obviously something you would want for in-depth research. And guys, say if you want it to be more lengthy and provide more context, you can just simply request it to make it more detailed and it'll use more sources and it'll extend the output that was used for the, the prior generation, which is also nice. And a really cool way to customize the sources used is by clicking on this filter button. You can actually choose the publication date of your sources, open the access, any citations used. You can use multiple citations up to 2000 plus in different fields. So this is where your credibility will be enhanced in terms of the research that is generated. And this is why I believe Liner is a great deep research agent that you should definitely take a look at because it is going to provide you faster generations. It might be not as lengthy as Google research, but the sources used are much better. And I believe that it is something that you should start off with in comparison to many of the other research tools that are out there. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Follow me on the Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like my video. Take a look at our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.